Hey, this is Judging Waits bringing you some Destiny PvP or multiplayer action. Now, let me be right up front. I am not the best PvP player. In fact, I've had more games that I've went negative than I've gone positive. But finally, I'm starting to get a feel for it, starting to do a lot better at this, and I am enjoying it. But uh, this was the first time that I played this map, so you're probably going to see some bonehead mistakes on my part. But really don't want to talk about that. Instead, I wanted to talk about 10 changes that I would like to see in Destiny. I want to run these by you see what you guys think and i want to hear what changes that you guys would make if you can make one change what would that be so be thinking about that while we're going through this video but first up all right i would like at the end of the mission or while i'm on a patrol mission you know i'm doing that i would like the ability to go directly to the tower now right now when you finish a mission or when you're on a planet you have to go back to orbit and then you can go back to the tower i'd like to still have the ability to press y and go back to the orbit but i'd like to have the ability to press a different uh, you know button and go back to the tower and kind of skip that whole one load scene I think it takes some time off of this and these load times are a little bit long so having the ability to go straight to the tower that would be a change that I would like to see I'd also like the ability to set up two or three loadouts all right right now when you're playing you can go into the menu and you can change your loadout up you can change your weapons and everything like that I'd love to keep that but if I could have like two loadouts or three loadouts kind of pre-made the ability to choose one of those I would like that probably save me some time say I had a void walker one and maybe a sun singer one you know the ability to switch in between those that would just be nice and something that I'd like to see I'd also like to see some different missions on some different locations every once in a while you know I love how that we had the Queen's Wrath and I have no idea where that guy came from but I loved how we had the Queen's Wrath event come out it would have been even better if we got to go to the wreath and play some different missions or something like that you know it gets a little bit of annoying trying to be Fogoth for the 500th time so a little bit different scenery would probably go a long way especially when you think of games like uh, Borderlands you know how many different missions and side missions there are you know some change in scenery some different missions and everything to do would just help out a lot but uh, moving on to number four oh man please give us the ability to skip cutscenes all right I don't want to listen to the speaker anymore in that long spiel when I'm doing the Queen's Wrath events or anything like that you know especially if I'm going on a second character or a third character I don't want to sit through those long cutscenes. So give us the ability to skip those, you know, after we watch them at least once. All right, number five, I would like to be able to see the elemental damage of the items that I have in my inventory. You know, put a little solar symbol or a little arc damage symbol, a little void damage symbol on the guns. That way, when we skip to our menus or go into our menus, and I know that I want to switch my sniper rifle and go from a void damage to a solar damage, you know, I have to put my cursor right now over that thing to get it to come out and then I can see, oh, this is my solar one, or this is my void damage one. Having that little symbol on there would just help us switch a lot faster to those different options. And speaking of switching a lot faster, I would like the ability to in-game actually switch different weapons. Maybe hold X and I would get a little thing that would come up and I could switch my you know secondaries or my primaries or something like that by using the D-pad and going left or right. I don't know, there's gotta be a way to actually change weapons instead of actually going into the actual menu and you know getting shot up while you're doing that or something like that all right but number seven um, do we have to lose ammo when we switch from one type of sniper rifle to another I can see losing ammo when you switch from a sniper rifle to a shotgun you know stuff like that but when we're staying with the same weapon type and they quit shooting me there teammate but when we're staying with the same weapon type do we have to lose ammo with that I'd like to see that change that we don't actually lose that ammo I mean, I just logically don't get that, you know, maybe it's because there's different ammunition types and maybe that's why the loss, you know, it's not a big issue, but I guess I'd like to see that. But moving on to number eight, I would like to see a choice of rewards for the harder missions, the nightfall missions, there's a jump fail <laughs> and I get cremated right there. But I would like to see a choice of rewards. If I complete the nightfall mission last time or the first time I did one, I got five strange coins, right? Five strange coins, are you serious? You know, if you do the weekly mission, which is a little bit easier on the same map or the same mission, you can get nine if you do it at level 28. And that's what the nightfall thing is. So getting five, oh, just really didn't cut it for me. So if you gave me like the ability to choose 
choose between three options on the harder level missions, that would be awesome. Maybe it would be like a choice between three exotic, or not three exotic, three legendary sniper rifles with three different elemental damages. You know, I could pick a solar sniper or an arc damage sniper or a void damage sniper. You know, some kind of choice that way you don't get stuck with something you just really don't like and really hate, especially when you put all of that effort into it. So a little bit of a choice with just the harder missions. And I know, you know, kind of that chance that the random chance is kind of exciting, you know, so maybe that would take something away from it. But I don't know. I'd like to see some of that, especially for like the nightfall mission. But the last idea that I had before I asked you guys what you guys think is I would like to see a horde mode. Yes, a horde mode. Could you imagine that? That would be awesome, especially if you could play it as a raid or something like that. You know, maybe each week you would have to defend, you know, the enemy start attacking one guardian outpost and you guys have to go and defend one of those guardian outposts against this enormous wave of enemies and see how long you can survive. Maybe if you survive long enough, you know, you get reinforcements or something like that. But could you imagine each week going to a different location, something that we haven't done before, and defending that? Maybe one week it's against the Fallen, and maybe the Hive comes in the second week, maybe, you know, the Cabals come in the third week or something like that. You know, a Horde mode would just be sick, especially if each wave got harder and harder until you finally die. Playing that with, you know, I would think a, a team of four minimum, but playing that with a team of six would just be sick, would just be awesome. But let me know what you guys think about my suggestions. You know, feel free to disagree that's what i'd like to see i'd like to hear us actually kind of have some conversation kind of talk about this and check this guy out sitting in the corner and i fail i miss him with the rocket launcher and i think he's going to end up taking me out but let me know what you guys think about those things let me know too what would be one thing you could change if you could in destiny put that in the comment section i'm going to put one of the developers or one of the community managers names in the title of this video you know i'm kind of hoping if we can get enough people retweeting this that it'll grab his attention maybe he'll come in here and see your ideas or my ideas and pass them on to the actual developers so that's what i'm going for there and make sure you follow him on twitter make sure you follow me as well you know i'm pretty active on there and try to uh, interact as much as possible with people but that's all i've got for you let me know what you think about my pvp debut uh, i'm planning on doing a lot more pvp action videos and stuff like that I, like i said i'm enjoying it more and more i still want to do a lot of pve videos as well in in fact, if you want to see something, feel free. Oh man, check this out. Feel free to leave it in the comment section, but check out this fail. All right, I think at least I got one of them, but I don't know. It seems like everybody else is a lot better with the shotgun than I am. I can shoot people point blank and it just does not seem to drop them, but other people just kind of one shot me. Maybe they're hitting me in the head and I'm shooting to the body. I know I have to really work on my aim in this game, but uh, what was I talking about? I don't even know. But let me know what you guys think about this. Oh, let me know if you've got any comments or suggestions suggestions on video ideas like i said plan on doing a lot more destiny videos uh but this is where i'm gonna end off i think i ended up first on my team so hopefully you like this as always though take care and god bless